my name is Yuri Zrelevsky and um, I'm VP of Cloud and Platform Engineering. Netflix is the world's premier service for enjoying movies and TV shows. To be successful and outcompete other players in the market, we have to be great in a number of things. You know, we have to have great content, personalization, device penetration, great customer service, UI and so forth. And operating data centers is not one of those things. In fact, it's a distraction for us. The original motivation for Netflix moving into the cloud came from a database corruption that we experienced in the August of 2008. And for a few days, we had problems shipping disks to our DVD customers. And at that time, we realized that going forward, what we really needed was a more fault-tolerant system that wouldn't be privy to failures like this. AWS was, at that time, as it is right now, a clear leader in the cloud space and you know, had the vast capacity that we could actually grow into. In 2009, we migrated a lot of our um, transcoding, and that was also a very positive experience. And then, as far as the streaming applications, that migration really happened in 2010. In the summer of 2010, we launched the iPhone uh, streaming service, all of it 100% out of cloud. We wanted to become experts at using the cloud, so we developed a number of tools to help us be better at that. We constantly have to test and verify your ability to survive any kind of failure, and that's the reason why we developed tools like the Chaos Monkey, which actually goes and um, intentionally breaks things in production just to make sure that we can survive those kinds of failures. So scalability, especially for a streaming service like Netflix, which has been growing tremendously over the past few years, is really critical. It's important for us to be able to add thousands of servers and terabytes of storage at minutes notice. In the past when we've had really high priority critical encoding uh, tasks in front of us, we would sometimes spin up many thousands of servers and complete the task within a matter of hours or a few days and then spin it down after we no longer need it. We've actually increased our level of reliability by more than an order of magnitude. Reducing the complexity of running in both the data center and the cloud was a big part of that, but using redundant services like multiple availability zones has um, helped us achieve that higher level of availability. So we get both the benefits of higher efficiency and higher uh, availability. Also for Netflix, which is an international uh, company, it's been really helpful for us to leverage the global regions that AWS provides. So wherever you happen to be, you can access uh, the service and enjoy the benefits of the Netflix um, product.